Welcome back. Uh, uh, before we left for the break, we said we'll have two smart youngsters with us in the studio who will share with you their perspectives on who is popular and who is not popular. And this is very important because if you remember what Balram said, more than your technical skills, more than what they score in the examinations, uh, what's important is the kind of relationships that they can make in today's world. Because otherwise you end up like a car, a very technically perfect car with no fuel in it, sitting quietly in the garage. So uh, let's get to speak to these two young guests that we have. Uh, Hi, uh, thank you for joining us and uh, welcome to NTV, my teacher. Can I request you to introduce yourself first? Uh, hi, my name is Aman Iqbal Ibrahim. I study in grade 8 in Arun English High School, Sharjah Boys Branch. So that's Aman and, and what about you? Hi, I'm Srileka Babraj and I'm from the Millennium School, Dubai and I'm grade 11. Okay, so we've got Aman from our own school and Sri from the Millennium School. Both of them teenagers who are immensely popular. So let's ask them, okay? Guys, uh, what I want you to do is to think about somebody who is not popular at all, okay? Think about somebody that you don't want to associate with. It's not just you. None of your friends wants to associate with them, okay? When he tries to come to you, something inside you says, stay away, you know? We don't want to befriend you. Think about a character like that, okay? I'm sure you'll have characters like that in school. And tell me some of the typical behaviors that they have. Because we're going to try, we're going to explore the question of what is it that makes them unpopular, okay? So let's start with Aman here, Aman. What would you like to say? I think the first main point would be that they bully. Okay. They bully because I think they believe that there's no other way for them to get themselves known both uh -huh. as well as inside as okay. well as outside the class okay this might also be due to low self-esteem so when you say bullying you're talking about people who constantly uh, criticize you constantly make fun of you constantly try to put you down they try to put you down so that they feel uh, uh, raised that yes, they feel that they're exactly. good right okay yes. let's ask three the girls perspective okay um, I would also like to talk about bullying oh really okay yeah. girls bully as well is yeah, it girls do bully as okay. well now bullying is when you go around teasing someone, letting them down in front of a whole lot of people okay. and it's basically they do to the people who, who lack self-confidence. Okay. Okay. Now why did why they do that can be basically because they are not strong within. Okay. So they go around messing with people okay. and bully people. Okay. And it's like to create others, to make others feel that they are really strong. Okay. They are like the boss, so that the others really don't want to mess up with them. Oh my God, now that's sad. For them to feel good about themselves, for them to portray a positive image, what they try to do is they try to pick on somebody who is slightly weak according to them and then they bully. Now that's sad. I never knew that girls bully. So uh, uh, all our young friends who are watching, uh, take note, you might like to pull pranks on people, you, you might like to to tease people and, and make fun of others but that's making you immensely unpopular because both of them said bullying uh, scores the first vote when it comes to unpopularity okay now let's ask Aman again what next Aman? next would be that um, they are too teacher centered okay okay could you explain a little yeah. more see they'll try anything either by hook or by crook okay. to get into the teachers good books okay see they do this because uh, they intend to use it as a shield uh-huh so if ever they're accused of doing something wrong okay the teacher will step in and say no he couldn't have done this i know him so now my 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 let's make it very clear because a student who, who studies well who does his projects well and who wins awards for the school now those students would be popular teachers would love them why are you saying that uh, they are unpopular? No, I'm, talk I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the people who uh, don't do good in academics. And uh, j just like bullying, but in this way, they, they uh, believe that this is the only way for them to get popular. Oh, so they're By desperately uh, trying hard yeah. to get into the teacher's books. And that's irritating. You, you yes. guys don't like it. Uh, thank you. Now let's ask the girls. What next, Sri? Um, can I talk about the same? Oh really? Because, okay. Yeah, um, there are two categories, okay? Let me tell you the first one, who are really popular, they really are in the good books of the teachers, okay. no offense to them. Okay. But the second type of people, they deliberately want to get into the teacher's book. Okay. Okay, now what they do is, they wear a mask around them to cover the negative side. Okay. So all that is shown is the positive side. Okay. Now once they get into the good books of the teachers, uh -huh. now they open the doors for their friends to get in. 
Oops. So this is done with an yeah. agenda, right? Yeah, it is. Done. They want their friends to come in and get the key yeah, slots, and then it becomes a gang like the mafia, and they get their things done. They don't let anybody else to come in. So this is basically, guys, don't get this uh, uh, wrong. We are not talking about students who are performing well. We are talking about students who are not performing well, but who is desperately trying to get into the inner circle in in the school. You're talking about that, yeah? Okay. Uh, both uh, 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 the boys and the girls agree that bullying and trying too hard to get into the teacher's good books both can make you unpopular. What next? Next would be that um, they are not trustworthy. Okay. We can never know where their loyalties lie. Uh -huh. If we ever f go and try to confide something in him, okay. you never know. The next day you come to school, it might be non uh, known all over. Okay. So he might go and blab it to people. Uh -huh. um, because he intends to make friends with these people, uh, the people who he shares these. Okay, so secrets. if you share a secret with somebody, and then he goes and breaks it to to the big bad world, is it? What kind of secrets do you have? You don't want to know. Oh really? <laughs> okay, okay. So I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. But then the point is, guys, uh, uh, if you break one, uh, uh, if you break trust once. The problem is your friends will never trust you again. So it's something so delicate, it's something so serious. Make sure that if somebody confides in you, hold on to, to this trust for dear life. Yeah? Yes, yeah. Sri, what else? Um, then I would like to talk about people who are very in, uh, too much into social media, okay. networking, socializing, all that. Okay. Now, why I would talk about that is media has its own positive and negative side. Okay. It depends on what you consider it as. Mm -hmm. Now, these people, the unpopular kids, mm -hmm. they are already unpopular in school. Mm -hmm. So, they want to be popular at least in the social world of it. Okay. So what they do is they get a lot of influence from the media. Mm -hmm. They manipulate themselves in such a way mm -hmm. that they can not really get out of it. Okay. Now once they manipulate, they get back to class, they mm -hmm. go back to their friends mm -hmm. and they try to bring the same effect on them. They try to manipulate their friends also. Mm -hmm. Now why they, why they do that is mm -hmm. basically now we are teenagers mm -hmm. and let me tell you we have a mindset that only another teenager or your friend your best friend can really understand you mm -hmm. so we really trust them we believe them mm -hmm. so that why don't we try feeling gets in which mm -hmm. is the initi initial stage for all this mm -hmm. so that's another reason why okay I would now this is very interesting because what we parents and what we people of our age believe is that uh, um, you know students love those who are actively into the social media space because you're teenagers as you said and sometimes I it's it's the the uh, the uh, forbidden areas are quite uh, uh, alluring you know yeah. so you really want to test it out so uh, it it's so interesting what Sri said okay because these youngsters though they get along with people though they want to have fun they've got a strong set of values and what she's saying is that they don't really like somebody who gets into these uncharted territories uh, and get influenced and those who try to bring others into the, their fold as well yeah so uh, make sure because the social media you really don't know who's sitting on the other side of the virtual world so it's nice to make friends but make sure that you don't get uh, badly influenced by that yeah but can I try to put these two together Aman said uh, you shouldn't break a friend's trust and Sri said there are some students who probably are doing stuff that they should not do so this is something if you notice that a close friend of yours is doing something that he should not do I think you should confront him and I think you should tell him that you will definitely go and speak to either your parents or your teachers if he doesn't continue that so yes you should not break the trust but there's a limit for all that I'm sure you would agree right yes. if, if somebody is really trying to do something that could harm them in the long run as a good friend you should definitely come in yeah and stop him what next the next thing would be that they act fake okay see um, they'll try anything to uh -huh. get into conversations or groups okay for example we've just come back to school after the vacations or after the weekend mm -hmm. we strike up a conversation immediately about the movies we watched or okay. what all we did okay and then he swoops in from nowhere uh -huh. and says Oh, I watched that movie. Okay. Oh, I love this part. Okay. Okay. And they lie. They okay, laugh abnormally okay, hard. Okay. It's okay. I get it. I get it. I think basically they're trying to fit in. Yeah. The, the intention is honorable, but uh, the problem is it, uh, people can spot a fake from a mile away. You know. So be yourself. I think that's 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 the message that you're trying to convey. Yes. It's nice to try to fit in, but then don't try to be what you're not right because in the long run that will make you unpopular more unpopular than being accepted yeah 
anything from your side sri yeah now i would like to talk about gossip okay. or the so called backbiting okay now people a lot of people do backbiting and it might sound like a cliche but let me tell you backbiting is very common among girls mm -hmm. now backbiting is basically when you really are good in front of the people okay, okay. and then behind the backs you talk bad about them you talk ill about them okay. which is not like by many of us mm -hmm. now why they do that is mm -hmm. basically because they just want to satisfy the anger okay. or they really envy something that she has mm -hmm. this the unpopular kid doesn't have mm -hmm. now that's why it creates a layer of something that doesn't you don't want to share something with them okay. a uncomfortable layer mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. both of them which mm -hmm. is not really True, true. I, I think it's also related to what Aman said about losing trust. Because yeah. the moment you find somebody going and and blabbering things, adding a lot of masala, as we say, and then uh, making it more spicy and and serving it to the rest of the world, I think immediately you lose trust, and and you wouldn't like uh, those kind of friends. All our young friends, I I hope you're taking note because these are kind of behaviors that you indulge in without even thinking twice. Okay, but that that could make you very unpopular. And habits. once your habits kick in once your habits settle in it's very tough to change it's very tough to change a habit and then you'll end up facing problems you know remember what balram said you know you'll find it tough to survive in in the corporate world and once again you'll end up like a car a very nice car with all the right technical qualifications but without the right fuel inside sitting quietly in the garage aman would you want to say anything else yeah i had one last point okay um they are in their own world or okay. aloof okay they don't join into the excitement uh -huh. they're never upbeat okay sometimes we feel bad for them and we go and try to speak with him okay but we can literally feel the stay away from me vibe radiating from him okay so okay so if we go to him in a good mood we uh -huh. come back in a morose mood okay so, so yeah. you you're basically talking about you know there's something happening in the school and everybody is excited and you find couple of them who Uh, probably are not that excited who 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 do not want to join into the the whole sphere of activity yeah. now let me clarify dear parents don't don't get this wrong let me clarify there are some children who are naturally more energetic than others there are some children who would like to go out and make friends who talk a lot talk a lot who who basically like being in the center of things okay and there are some students who like being quiet who like to sit we call them reserved students they prefer to sit maybe with a book or uh, you know to think and be by themselves now many parents would consider this as a weakness but it is not if you have a child who is comparatively reserved who prefers being by himself consider that to be a strength a great strength you know why some of the world's greatest poets some of the great world's greatest authors some of the world's most creative people some of the world's most great scientists are all people who are reserved now that's a specific strength because these people they get their energy being alone so don't keep pushing your children and saying go out and make fun uh, have fun and go out with friends don't consider themselves to be inferior but having said that parents should be careful if this behavior is affecting their prospects like they have to face a group discussion or they have to work in a group project and if this behavior is affecting the way they work then you should make sure that they uh, uh, actually rake up the energy levels that they go out and talk even if they don't really like it similarly for people who are out there energetic and enthusiastic even you guys you have to make sure that you come down and spend some time yourself and and think and plan and and so both of you will have to move out of your comfort zones and that's the way it works i think it's time to uh, to wind up this very interesting uh, discussion Uh, thank you Shri and uh, thank you Aman for for being here with us and and sharing so many wonderful ideas you know it's about bullying it's about being the teacher's pet it's about using social media in the wrong way and then pushing it on people it's about backbiting and it's about staying too aloof so i'm sure our young ones would have noticed that uh, oh my god i do this at times and if you do that at times make sure that uh, you stop doing that okay because this could make you unpopular now as we promised dear viewers we'll continue this discussion across multiple episodes in the next episode we'll give you five tips five tips for parents to develop interpersonal skills in their children yeah because this is very important please don't think why i'm repeating the car analogy again and again because yes you don't want a technically proficient car to sit in the garage so if i may conclude if i may take a few minutes to conclude interpersonal skills is all about having a concern for others 
you have your needs you have your dreams you have your aspirations you want to get a good job make a lot of money have fun have great relationships everybody else in the world has the same kind of needs as well so if you're ready to accommodate those needs if you're ready to work along together and then work towards a meaningful goal then you have interpersonal skills and it's those kind of people who succeed now we'll continue this uh, interesting discussion we'll have more uh, uh, valuable discussions with guests in the studio we'll call uh, a few of our key guests and get their inputs and we'll take this discussion forward because this is something that we cannot compromise we want our children to score well in their examinations and we also want them to really do well in the exam of life so thank you for joining us as always please call us and give us your feedback and together let's take this discussion forward see you uh, uh, next week thanks a lot for joining in